This is module four, lesson nine of Eureka Math, and we are going to continue with fractions and multiplication of fractions, where we're, we are going to multiply fractions um, in order to find uh, measurements, okay? So, for instance, what would three, oops, what would three fourths of a foot be, right? Three-fourths of a foot equals, okay, and figuring that out. Uh, okay, so open up your problem set, and let's get started. Put your name on the paper. And we're using conversions. If you need to pull out that chart from, from uh, yesterday or yesterday's lesson, which actually was probably last week's lesson, show your work using a tape diagram or an equation. Okay, your choice. You have this option or this option, but you must show your work. The first one is done for you. Okay, so they have one half of a yard and they want to convert it into feet. So, one half of a yard equals one half times one yard. Makes sense. One yard equals three feet. And if you didn't know that, use your chart, but I think you should know that by now. So we can just change one to three. One half times three feet, and there we've already done our conversions, equals three over two, or one times three over two. Okay. And three over two, or three halves, equals one and a half feet. So there's our answer. And they used a, an equation. Okay, But you can use a tape diagram if you'd like. Let's do B together. One third of a foot into inches. You know that one foot, I'm going to put this here, equals 12 inches. Just in case you forgot. One third of a foot in, in inches. So for this one, let's use a, we can use both a tape diagram and an equation. Uh, th three fourths of a foot equals one third times one foot. Okay, and all they've done here is they've turned one foot into twelve inches because one foot equals twelve inches. Now we can do this mathematically. Okay, one times twelve over three. And remember, we can use factors. 3 and 12 are both divisible by 3, so let's do that. Okay, three div uh, 12 divided by 3 equals 4, and 3 divided by 3 equals 1. So our new answer would be 1 times 4 over 1, which would be 4 over 1, which equals 4. Okay. So we can get there mathematically with an equation, or we can draw a tape diagram. So let me do that for you as well, just in case. So 12 feet, and we're dividing it into three sections. I'm sorry, not 12 feet. One foot, but they've already converted it into inches here for you. So our tape diagram is going to be in inches. There's our tape diagram. And it was cut into three because we're dividing it one third. Okay, so 3 goes into 12 four times. That means that each of these is worth 4. 4, 8, 12. And 1 third, this section right here, equals 4. Same answer? Excellent. Okay, so this is using a tape diagram and this is using uh, an equation. Today, they're giving you the opportunity to use either one, whichever one you're more comfortable with. We've been working on it with both, so let's try the next one together. Okay, years and months. We know, and I'm just going to write this right here, one year equals 12 months. So, mathematically, five-sixths of a year equals five-sixths times one year. Now I'm going to convert that into months. Five, six times 12 months. 
Now I can solve this. 5 times 12 over 6. Okay, do you see how I did that? Just like we did last week. And I can see that I can factor this because 12 and 6 are both divisible by 6. So 12 divided by 6 is 2, and 6 divided by 6 is 1. So my new problem is going to be 5 times 2 over 1, and this equals 10. So 10 over 1, or you can just say 10. And what's our label? Months. Okay, so then I'm going to go write this answer back up here. Next one. For this one, would you like to use an equation or a tape diagram? On your page, it's your choice. I'm going to use a tape diagram just so that, uh, that everyone feels comfortable. Okay, how many centimeters in a meter? First of all, one meter equals 100 centimeters. Centi means 100. So, my tape diagram is going to be out of 100 centimeters. There's 100 centimeters because I want this to be in centimeters. So four fifths, I need to cut this into five chunks. One, two, three, four, five. And five goes into 100 20 times. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. Okay, now it's asking me what, what is the value of four fifths? So these four, one, two, three, four, is what we're looking for. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80. 80, and my value is centimeters. So four fifths of one meter equals 80 centimeters. Okay, I don't have to write the CM again because it's written right there. All right, this was equation and this was tape diagram. Your choice, your choice, whichever you prefer right now. Eventually, we're going to be using equations, okay? Hours and minutes. You know that one hour equals 60 minutes. So, let's do an equation. Two thirds of an hour equals two thirds times one hour. Hmm? That's important. That's important to know. So we're going to convert this one hour into minutes. We know it's 60 minutes. So two-thirds times 60 minutes. Okay. Now I'm going to put those together. So two times 60 over three and I can factor in here, right, three divided by itself is one, and 60 divided by three would be 20, okay? Right, so three into, so let's just double check that. Yep, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Two, zero, yes, okay. So my new answer, is 2 times 20 over 1, which equals, do I need to rewrite the 1, or, or can we just say that that's 40, 40 minutes? Okay, write your answer here. Did I do that up there? Did I? Yes, I did. Good. Next one, yards and inches. Okay, this is tricky. We're not going yards to feet because you know that 1 yard equals 3 feet but we're going straight to inches. So if one foot equals 12 inches, then three feet must equal 36 inches. So one yard equals 36 inches, okay? Those are conversions that you should be able to make, okay? All right. So let's use a tape diagram. And because we're doing inches, the tape diagram is in inches. 36 inches. Maybe use a, a yard ruler for this. 36, that's the value of, of my tape diagram. And I'm cutting it into four pieces. 
One, two, three, four. Now, four into 36 equals nine. So each of these is worth nine. Nine, 18, 27, 36, great. And it's asking me what's the value of three of those. So three would be these. And that equals three, uh, three times nine is 27. And our label is inches. So 27 inches. Good. Okay, now we're gonna do some story problems. Same, same deal, but just with story problems. Mrs. Lang told her class that the class's pet hamster is one fourth of a foot in length. How long is the hamster in inches? Okay, so you know that one foot equals 12 inches. Okay. So one, I'm going to use an equation. One foot equals, I'm sorry, one fourth of a foot equals one fourth times one foot, right? And now I'm going to convert that into inches. So one fourth times 12 inches. Okay. Now I can turn this and I'm going to go here. I like to do straight up and down with my equations. That's not working today. So I'm just going to here next. 1 times 12 over 4. Okay. Now I see my factors there. 12 and 4, both divisible by 4. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. And 4 divided by 4 is 1. Now I have... 1 times 3 over 1, which equals 3 over 1, which equals 3. And what am I, what did I convert this into right here? Inches. How long is the hamster in inches? 3 inches. That's about this big. It's a little hamster. At the market, Mr. Paul bought 7 eighths of a pound of cashews and three-fourths of a pound of walnuts. How many ounces of cashews did Mr. Paul buy? First of all, you need to remember, I'm gonna roll this up here. You need to remember that one pound, that's an LB, this is a one, one pound equals 16 ounces, okay? This is imperial measurements. One pound equals 16 ounces. Okay, at the market, Mr. Paul bought seven eighths of a pound of cashews and three fourths of a pound of walnuts. How many ounces of cashews did Mr. Paul buy? Okay, so that's the cashews right there. Okay, seven eighths of a pound equals seven eighths times one pound. I don't like that ones and L's look so similar. And now I'm going to convert, it's not a six, it's a B. I'm going to convert one pound, maybe I'll just write the word. That way there's no confusion. One pound equals 16 ounces. So this is seven eighths times 16 ounces. Excellent. Okay, now I'm moving my equation up here. 7 eighths, oops, 7 times 16 over 8. Well, 16 and 8 are both divisible by 8. They're both divisible by 4 and they're both divisible by 2, but let's, let's use the biggest divisor. So we are going to use 8. 16 divided by 8 is 2. 8 divided by 8 is 1. Now I have 7 times 2 is 14 over 1, which equals 14. And what is my, my label? Ounces. Good, there's my answer. How many ounces of walnuts did Mr. Paul buy? Okay, same thing. This time we're going to use this answer here, three-fourths of a pound of walnuts. So three-fourths of a pound equals three-fourths times one pound 
equals 3 fourths times, now here's my conversion, 16 ounces. So my equation is going up here. 3 times 16 over 4. And you see that 4 there. I know you do. So let's just make that a 1 and that a 4. And now I have 3 times 4 equals 12 and over 1, which equals 12 ounces. I'm guessing that this next one's going to be a subtraction problem. I'm just guessing. How many more, uh -huh, how many more ounces of cashews than walnuts did Mr. Paul buy? Well, if he bought 14 ounces of cashews and 12 ounces of walnuts, that means he bought 12, I'm sorry, 12. That means he bought two ounces more of cashews. I love cashews. Do you know, have you ever been to um, this, uh, the south of Venezuela where they, 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 you can buy the cashews on the street and oh, they're so fresh and they're so yummy. Like in Puerto Ordaz or Ciudad Bolivar, so yummy, so good. Okay, letter D. If Mrs. Toombs bought one and a half pounds of pistachios, who bought more nuts, Mr. Paul or Mrs. Toombs? Okay, so bought more. First of all, how many, we're going to have to figure out how many nuts Mr. Paul actually bought altogether. So this is kind of a trick in here because in here there's like this separate question. Okay, so we, first of all, we have to add up the 14 ounces of cashews and the 12 ounces of walnuts and all together he bought 26 ounces of nuts okay so we needed to know that to solve this problem that that was a pretty quick little question there so 26 ounces is what he bought now we have to figure out how many she bought but in ounces because they gave us hers in in one and a half pounds Okay, so one and a half pounds, what I would like to do right now is I would like to convert this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. And how do we do that? Okay, so it's really just two over two plus one over two equals three halves, okay? So three halves of a pound of pistachios, which are also very nice, equals three halves times one pound. And three halves times one pound actually equals three halves times 16 ounces. There, we've just made our conversion. Now, I'm going to move my equation up here. Oh, I'm running out of space. Three times 16 over 2, and I can definitely make this a smaller number here. I'm going to turn that into an 8 and this into a 1. Now I have 3 times 8 equals 24 over 1, which equals 24 ounces. Okay, so Mrs. Toombs bought 24 ounces of nuts and Mr. Paul because we added up his cashews and his walnuts bought 26 ounces so now we just have a very simple subtraction problem and I'm sorry I have to write it above the line I just I hope you guys wrote smaller 26 minus 24 equals 2 ounces more so Mr. Paul bought two ounces more nuts than Mrs. Toombs. You know, when I taught first grade, I had a little boy in my class, and his last name was Miss was Toombs. That was a long time ago. Gosh, he'd probably be 
In 10th grade by now? Mm -hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm, I don't want to do the math on that. It makes me sound old. Okay. A jewelry maker purchased 20 inches of gold chain. She used one third of the chain for a bracelet. How many inches of gold chain did she have left? Okay. So let's use a tape diagram for this one. She may she bought 20 inches of a gold chain. She used three eighths. So I'm going to divide into eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many inches of gold chain did she have left? Okay, so this is one, two, three, four. She used, and then how many did she have left? So she used this much, and we want to know what this much is. Okay, so 20 divided by 8 equals 2, that would be 16, with a remainder of 4, and 4 eighths. So in fact, we can simplify that to 2 and 1 half, right? So each of these is worth 2 and 1 half inches. which means the 3 eighths of the chain that she used was 2, 4, 6 plus 3 halves, which equals 7 and 1 half. And the part she didn't use, or what she had left, so 2 and a half, 2 and a half, 2 and a half, 2 and a half, 2 and a half. We can either add that up or we can multiply 2 and a half times 5. I'll show you both ways. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 plus 1 halves, 2 halves, 3 halves, 4 halves, 5 halves equals 12 and 1 half inches. Mm -hmm. How many inches of gold chain did she have left? 12 and 1 half inches. If you would prefer, we could multiply, let me erase this. <clears throat> Let's just do it as an equation so you guys can see. Okay. So 20 inches of gold chain. 3 eighths of 20 inches. Okay, 20 inches, and we don't have to actually convert because the, the question is asking us for inches. So 3 eighths of 20, well, that's just 3 eighths times 20, which equals 3 times 20 over 8, okay? I don't see a common denominator here. Not immediately. There are ways to do it. We could decompose this 20 into 10 times 2 or 4 times 5. But that's not really going to get us where we want to be right now. So let's just do the math. 20 times 3 is 60. And then 60 over 8. Okay. And then... 60 over 8, let's figure out what that would be. 60 divided by 8 would be 7, okay, which would be 56, and 4 eighths remainder, or 7 and a half. That's what she used, and we can subtract 20 minus, because that was what we started with, 20 minus 7.5, because that's what she used to see what she had left, which would be, okay, this we're going to have to turn into 19 and 2 halves in order to subtract it easily. So 19 minus 7 would be 12, and 2 halves minus 1 half would be 1 half inches. Same, same answer. How many inches of gold chain did she have left? 12 and a half inches. Here I used a tape diagram. Here I used uh, an equation. Your choice. Okay, when you finish that, um, do your exit ticket. Minutes uh, and hours. That's that one. 
feet and inches, meters and centimeters, uh, year and months. So I hope you know how to convert all of those things. And then submit that, then go back and finish your Lesson 9 homework. If you have any questions on the Lesson 9 homework, we will do it in class. Good job. Have a great day.